Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, as America is celebrating a tremendous victory for Donald Trump uh, in, here in Indiana over uh, his Republican rivals and Ted Cruz dropping out of the race and the head of the Republican Party, Previs, announcing that Donald Trump will be their nominee. And it's uh, pandemonium really here in Indiana. It's crazier in Indiana as the, as the Donald Trump uh, supporters are in the streets, dancing in the streets. Um, it's not that way in Canada. We've got, uh, we've got some folks that are really hurting up there. Fort Mac, Fort McMurray is on fire. The entire city is potentially going to burn to the ground. Most of the Canadian city has been evacuated as this blaze is engulfing homes. All of Fort McMurray and Northern Alberta under a mandatory evacuation. No injuries so far. The homes in several neighborhoods have been completely destroyed. The winds have whipped the fire, blowing it right into the city. Nearly all of northern Alberta city has been evacuated tonight as the wildfire is whipped by winds engulfing homes has sent ash raining down on residents. All of the town of Fort McMurray with the exception of Parsons Creek, which uh, was under a mandatory evacuation order. According to Robin Smith, press secretary for the regional um, area of Wood Buffalo, they are being directed to evacuate the centers north of the town now. I saw pictures. It, the flames are, it's like a burning inferno. It is hell on earth. And let me just say this, the interstate, every lane was turned to flee. Cars were bumper to bumper in both sides of the interstate, all going in the same direction, out of town, nobody coming in. Um, one evacuation center in the center of town on the island of uh, one of the rivers is already full, uh, according to Robin Smith. No injuries have been reported as of now though homes in several neighborhoods have been completely destroyed. More than 100 prevent, uh, provincial and municipal firefighters are attempting to hold back the blaze. Helicopters and aircraft are being used to drop water and fire retardants, and bulldozers are being used to dig fire breaks to try to stop it from jumping as the winds are whipping it. The main road into Fort McMurray was closed at the southern entrance to the city after flames jumped the road, a four-lane highway. Russell Thomas, a resident and former uh, municipal uh, conciliator, said that he had helped the town around noon for work. He, he had left town around noon for work. Things had looked pretty fine, but the time he attempted to return, it was like the apocalypse. His quote, the coming apocalypse has come to Fort, Fort Mac in Canada. Uh, he's separated from his family. They're evacuating north, so he had to turn and flee to the south. Soon after he left the area gas station, he had been near, which nearly exploded, um, did explode. Soon after he left the very gas station he stopped, that gas station exploded. 100 yards from the flames on the highway. The heat was so intense because of the wind. A local radio reporter said a trailer park that had been evacuated on Monday was on fire. The flames were advancing toward the businesses. It's chaos on the roads. People are panicking. It's gridlock. All cars fleeing town. Flames are right next to the gas stations. Uh, according to Karina Van Herdy on radio station KAOS. Pictures posted on Twitter are showing long lines of traffic and skies darkened by the thick smoke and the flames licking the edges of the roads. Fort McMurray is the capital of Alberta's oil sands region and has a population of 61,000 people, according to the 2011 census. 
Crews had seemed to be making progress controlling the blaze burning since the weekend, but the situation worsened quickly this afternoon. And by mid-afternoon, people from three neighborhoods were told, get out of here immediately. Unseasonably hot temperatures combined with dry conditions have transformed this forest into a tinderbox of Alberta. The wildfire threat is ranging from very high to extreme flammable. Are you serious? Uh, The way things have gone in the last two days, once nightfall comes, the temperature drops, things might slow down a little. But that isn't what happened, folks. The winds whipped up and picked up. And it is getting ugly. And just minutes ago, what I'm telling you, this report is from 32 minutes ago. It is out of control. We are, this is an, an apocalypse. The coming apocalypse has come to Fort Mac in Alberta, Canada. We're praying for every one of you folks there, praying for your homes, asking the body of Christ to pray tonight. I know America, and like I said, here in Indiana, they're literally out in the streets celebrating uh, Trump's huge victory in Indiana and Cruz dropping out of the race. And oh, by the way, Indiana, uh, this, it's amazing because this county is, I mean, big time straight D because I'm in a, I'm in a college town of Purdue University and 80% of the people that I was looking at in the line to vote were all going red and most of them were going voting Donald Trump. An amazing situation developing a movement taking place. And so while there's celebration across America tonight, there's devastation in Fort Mac in Canada. Let's pray for them, please, please, please. I've got some some wonderful online church members in Alberta. And maybe some are even in that very town. I don't know. Uh, We're just really heartbroken for you. We're praying for you. We're going to lift you up in prayer. We'll be talking about this tomorrow. Don't miss my live show tomorrow. It's going to be a fascinating. It will be a fascinating broadcast in lieu of the election results tonight and the catastrophic events in Canada. And Lord knows what else might happen. It's been very apocalyptic. The hail, the tornadoes, the earthquakes. I mean, I don't know. Are you serious? Give your life to Jesus Christ. Pray for Canada. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Please pray for Canada. Pray for Canada tonight. In Jesus' name.